And when I got the car, my car was not locked. I'm like, yo, why is my car not locking? Like, yo, I'm like, yo, I just bought this car. Like, you got me bent if you're not gonna if you're not gonna lock, honey. Like, if we will, like, I will, I will fight you right here. Yes, I'm talking to my car. I will fight you right here. Like, you really got me bent. Like, I paid how much for you and you go over not gonna lock? Like, you was really weird. Especially in this neighborhood. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but like in the neighborhood I was in, you not trying to lock when like you lock any other time, but now I'm like in a kind of iffy neighborhood and you not trying to lock. Like you was really like you was really a monster. Like you were really a fake friend. But that's cool. Turns out the car wasn't locking because I forgot to turn it off. Wow. 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 Whoa. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. It's Local Black Talk here, and I'm baking. Yeah, what's up? You got a problem with it? Okay, didn't leave. Like, what? If you are not subscribed, you're a hater, and that's facts, no prints there. I've been told y'all that. Like, if you are a local baby, which means you're subscribed, if you're not, like, you're just a hater. Like, you're here watching me. You're just a hater. And, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but, like, you hurt my feelings as well. So now we're even. Two wrongs do make a right. So now we're even. So I'm back in better with the story time, y'all. I'm baking. Like I got something. Like it's okay. Like don't worry about it. Like don't don't be over here. Oh, what's on her face? Like mind your business. How about that? So I'm here today with the story about how I got. Let me. Okay, I'm actually mad. So I'm kind of talking fast a little bit. But with the story about how I got played by a, a lash tech today. So yeah, I'm known for getting played by Philly by Philly stylists. Yeah, laugh at me if you want, but I'm actually really upset about it. I cried. Like I actually cried because my time was wasted today. Like I felt like I was out, like just just spending money and spending time and putting gas in my car for no reason. I could have been home sleep watching the game. Like what? You wasted my time. <laughs> so let me just let me just go through my day oh mind you i got a knot on my head i don't know if you see it but i put foundation on it but it's like it, it, it hurts like it's red i'm gonna tell you why so the other day me i see my boyfriend like i see my boyfriend like he real cute or whatever like you know i like to keep my boo so i'm like not only am i gonna get cute for him but i'm gonna lay my wig for him 24 hours in advance of what like i like like to look cute and and and, 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 and i if i had a chance to lay my my lace 24 hours ahead of time i will so we had plans at like five o'clock one time one day so 9 p.m the day before i laid my wig like what 20 it's almost 24 hours so if you do oh she didn't do the math I tried. So I put my wig on like nine o'clock at night. I put the band on to lay it. I'm like, okay, bet like my lip my wig about to be real lay. It's about to be real real flat, like flat Stanley. You're not even gonna see the lace. Like the baby hair's gonna be really like really like flat. Like you got me messed up. So when I woke up, I felt like I had hit my head on like a, on like a um on like a tractor trailer. Like I had felt like I got ran over by a, a um a four wheeler. Then a Jeep, like a pink Jeep, and then a smart car with luggage on top. And then I had gotten run over by like one of those um UPS trucks, but with 10 packages in it. So it's not empty, but it had like 10 packages. And then last thing I feel like I got hit by was a surfboard with five with five people hat on top. That's what I felt like, and it really hurt. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I just, maybe I just am making this pain up. Maybe it's nothing. So I went to go through my makeup, and I had my beauty blender, and I touched right here. <laughs> it hurts, guys. It hurts. That's my, okay, what's going on? What's going on? So I looked in the mirror, and there was a knot on my head. It was a like a knot on my head. Here's a picture, and I thought y'all was cool with me. Like I thought y'all liked like local black child and stuff. But y'all be trying to play me like I'm a like I'm a dummy. Y'all was all in my DMs like today is not the day. It's a hard not life, sis, isn't it? Not the not. Y'all was really y'all was really being like really mean to me um over the past three days, and I had actually like cried about it like and like you know when you cry so much that you throw up. Like, I cried so much that I threw up because y'all just hate me. Like y'all be watching me but you really hate me like y'all laughed at my not y'all laughed at the fact i got scammed 10 times by 10 different philly stylists y'all always left me so at this point like i just know like we're not really cool like y'all just here laughing me but it's fine like it's okay so here's a story time or whatever so today no 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 yesterday i'm on instagram and I'm like, you know what would be cool? If I got my lashes done. Like, I sell lashes. And I would be like... And I was kind of thinking, like, people might think it's contradicting that I 
I'm getting my lashes done and not wear my own lashes. But I really just wanted to try lash extensions. Like, my lashes are bomb, don't get me wrong. But I want to wake up, go to sleep, roll over and take a nap with lashes on and not come off. Like, that's cool to me. So, I want to try it. So, I looked up hashtag Philly lashes. You know, like, I always do that. Hashtag Philly anything will get you in trouble. You'll get scammed. So, don't do it. But I did it anyway because I'm just like, I just, I'm, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So look at hashtag Philly Lash Tech or whatever. And I was scrolling through my like, oh, none of these look that good. Like, man, they weren't that good. But I found this one girl. I said, oh, like, yeah. I said, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, sign me up. Pen and pencil, sign me up. So I looked through her booking site. The rules was beyond me. Talk about some. Oh, if you're nine minutes late, you owe a $20 fee. And if you're 19 minutes late, you owe 100% of the service. Because I already had your cash app. I said, wait, how, what? I said, how would you, like, how would you, tr okay. Then it said, you need to upload a photo ID so I know who you are for safety precautions. Like, what, yo? Like, y'all, y'all be doing, like, okay, that's cool. You want to be safe and you don't want to, like, you don't want to be on, um, 60 minutes. That's cool. Like, you don't want to be on, like, those, um, unsolved mysteries. That's cool. Like, you don't want to be on, like, the news. Like, that's cool. But I'm not sending you my ID because, dude, I don't even know you. So, who are you? Who are you? You might, you might be, you might try to hurt me. Because, like, these dollars be like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to protect myself. But who are you? But who are you? Do I know who are you? Give me, give me your ID, honey. I need, uh, uh, uh. like, what? Whatever. Like, I was like, oh, that's doing too much, too. I did not book for her. Mind you, she was not available for, like, three more weeks. I'm like, oh, I need it now. When I want something, I need it now. I'm not waiting. Like, call me impatient, but, yeah, I'm impatient, so I'm like, I need it now. So, I'm like, whatever. I'll put her on a back burner. I'll see if she's available another time, but them rules got me bent. I'm like, I don't know about that. So, I'm, I'm on FaceTime with my boo. We laughing about something stupid. And I go on Instagram. And I see her post a story two minutes ago that was like, I got a 3.15 and a 2 o'clock open for tomorrow. So, I'm like, yeah, send no more. Well, like, you got me bent. Like, yeah, of course. Me, to sign me up. Like I said. So, she's okay. I had texted her, DM'd her, and called her. I said, yeah, it's a black child. I want my, I want my lashes done. Now what? So, I had, she had texted me back and was like, okay, bet you're in for 315 She sent me the price. She said, no makeup, this, and third. I'm like, yeah, sit no more. Like, I'm there. See you tomorrow. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm like, yeah, get my last thing, yo. Yeah, I saw my friends and everything. Like, they was like, okay, sis, go ahead. My boyfriend was like, okay. My boyfriend had, had me pick up, picked out the style and everything. Like, we knew what we wanted. <laughs> I know he getting his last done. I knew what I wanted. He helped me pick it out. So I wake up in the morning like, yeah, your girl about to look like a spider. Your girl look like a spider. So the girl texts me and was like, hey, what's your Instagram? So I'm like, oh, it's Uncle Black Child, honey. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> and she said, like, okay, babe. So she sent me like this. She sent me this and was like, are you interested in trying this? So at first I had responded back and was like, yeah, yo, this one looking real mattifying. What? Anyway. So, she was like, would you be interested in this? She sent me this. And I was like, I was like, um, at first, I said, yeah, that'd be cool. Like, I'm not a huge fan of bottom lashes. Like, that's just doing too much for me. Like, I just feel like, mm, that's just doing too much for me. But I was like, I was like, I guess. But then I quickly unsent it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like it. Let me stop being so nice. Like, being nice got me in trouble multiple times. So, let me stop being nice. Like, I said, yeah, I unsent it. I'm like, yeah, no. So, I was like, well, I'll be there at 3.15 regardless. She said, okay. So I had to get my car looked at today because I have I just put a car, yo. I'm about to do a car tour like this week or whatever. But I have this car where if you if you put on the right turn signal, a camera of the right lane comes up. Cause like if you look to the left, you can see, but if you look to the right, you can't really see your blind spot. So it's like trying to make it easier, you know, whatever, whatever. But it wasn't working when I bought the car. Like I didn't peep until a while. So I'm like, okay, like this is not acceptable. So I drove the, to New Jersey with my boyfriend today. It was, it was a our ride we stopped at chick-fil-a this is what i got going i said um she's like hello my name's sarah how can i help you i said yes yeah, sarah give me a number one you all y'all know my order i talk about chick-fil-a all the time i said give me a number one no pickles add the bacon and i said make the make, make the medium a lord and give me a fruit punch monthly talking about some oh i want a number one with pickles like you want pickles so bad like why do you want pickles so bad and i'm like okay whatever he's like give me pickles he said i want a medium fry and he said i want chick-fil-a sauce like you was really sickening you want chick-fil-a sauce like what is going on i hate when that happens y'all 
Like, the lip gloss be uh, on the side of your mouth. But I was like, I said, Tick Flips. I was like, you was really nasty. I said, no, give me ketchup. And the girl, Sarah, her name was Sarah. She was like, my pleasure. Can I, get you? I said, no, nothing else, Sarah. I said, here's the money, Sarah. She said, oh, have a nice day, my pleasure. I said, you said that two times. But I did not say that, but it was in my head. But I'm not going to disrespect her. So I said, I said, oh, thank you. So I said, have a nice day. Like, you know, I be nice, but like in my head, you know, in your head, you be just be thinking, I'm over here. Oh. You just be thinking other stuff. Like, I be like, Sarah, you done said my pleasure about five times. Like, blink twice if you're okay. Like, it's so unfortunate you to say this, honey. She, she had blinked one time. Like, no, she's fine. I don't know. Sarah's fine. She got it going on. She she had the cute little red top on Chick-fil-A, Sarah Tech. I said, oh, Sarah, like, you really, you really be working, Sarah. Congratulations. So, when I got my food... It just tastes a little little racist, like no funny stuff, but like like it just tastes a little racist to me. And I tried to add the ketchup to it to make it a little less racist. It just tastes racist. I said, Malik, did your chicken sandwich taste racist? He said, Yeah, it's, it's giving me real Trump. I said, Yeah, it's giving me it's giving me real racist vibes. He's like he's like yeah, like it was giving me real real Republican. Like I don't know something about that chicken sandwich is giving me very very um uh, much very much very much Republican. I was like, Okay, well that's cool. Well, it's not cool, but it's cool, I guess. So when we left the Chick-fil-A, we went to the dealership. And so, mind you, the guy, the guy who worked there, let's say his name is E. So I went to E, like, I been told him, my, I said, my right lane camera is messing up today. I meant messing up. So he been said, like, two weeks ago, well, come in um, whenever you want. Just let me know when you're on your way so I know and get everything ready. Mind you. So I have class, so I couldn't come, like, right the day he told me to come. So I had to wait, like, a week until I'm really, really free, so, which is today. So I said, Eli, I'm on my way. He said, okay, bet. We got there. He talking about some, oh, my mechanic, this is the worst time for you to come. I said, what? He said, my mechanic actually is on lunch break. So you ain't tell me that when I said I'm on my way? What did I name him? E? I said, you ain't, why you ain't said it? He like, oh, boy, I didn't. Like, yo, you was really weird. Like, you was really weird. I'm like, wow, you was really weird. Like, fix my stuff. I have somewhere to go. He was like, can you wait till 2? So in my head, I'm like, can I wait till 2? I'm like, no, I can't have a last appointment. So then he come back out. I was like, well, actually, we actually can't fix this here. That's a Honda dealership problem. Um, well, what we can do is um, just just redirect you to a Honda dealership. Like, you'll be doing I bought this car. It should be working. So my boyfriend got hyped with him and was like, she is not going to pay for a Honda dealership to fix her stuff when she just bought the car. You need to fix it right here and right now. He like, well, actually, we can pay for it. Then I'm like, just doing too much. So we left. Like, what? I was so mad. Like, I actually cried. Like, I, I was tearing up because, like, I hate when my time is wasted. I did pick up my boyfriend, drove to Chick-fil-A, drove to New Jersey, and for this to... Mm. Okay. <laughs> so on my way back, I texted the girl and was like, hey, I'll be on my way soon. The last girl... So I dropped Malik off and I I put the car in a wheelie like like a like I like wheelie the car like you know like you know what a wheelie is like when you pop up the wheel I had popped up the car like the car was on the two back wheels because I wanted to get there in a timely manner so I had I had wheelied up the car like my, I put my car in twelve o'clock. So I was on my way, and I had turned the corner so hard that my car had went on the two wheels. It had went on two wheels. I'm like, I'm not about to be late to this appointment. So I pull up, skirt. I pull up to her place at 2.30, y'all, but I was around the corner. I don't know if you're familiar with Philly, so I'm on Timbo's campus. It's a university. So, like, university parking, all around there is meters. Like, you can be in a whole neighborhood. It'll be meters because they know people need parking. So I parked in a spot with a meter, but I'm not paying the meter until I have to get out because, like, why I'm sitting in a spot paying quarters for me to sit here on my butt? Like, that's free. I'm sitting on my butt. It's free. So I was like, yeah, like, I'll wait. So I was around like like three o'clock, mind you. My appointment at three fifteen. So I'm like about to get out of the car. I'm gathering my quarters, trying to scrounge for some change. And when I got the car, my car will not lock. I'm like, yo, why is my car not locking? Like, yo, I'm like, yo, I just bought this car. Like, you got me bent if you're not gonna if you're not gonna lock, honey. Like, we will. Like, I will. I will fight you right here. Yes, I'm talking to my car. I will fight you right here. Like, you really got me bent. Like, I paid how much for you and you go over here, not going to lock? Like, you was really weird. Especially in this neighborhood. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but, like, in the neighborhood I was in, you not trying to lock when, like, you lock any other time, but now I'm, like, in a kind of iffy neighborhood and you not trying to lock. Like, you was really, like, you was really a monster. Like, you were really a fake friend. But that's cool. Turned out the car wasn't locking because I forgot to turn it off. I do it all the time. Don't judge me. I know you've driven before and did not turn the car off. Like, it happens to the best of us. The best of us. Yeah, the best of us. It happens to the best of us. So, like, whatever. It's cool. So, I'm about to go pay the meter. I put I had put four quarters in there. That gave me, like... 
that gave me like two hours now nah, more like more like an hour 15 minutes and this guy signaled me from his car i'm like yo like what did you what did you i'm like what did you he put his his headlights on he said click click i said yo what did you over here blinking them them bright lights in my face for he said come here i'm like okay like I, i'm like i had i'm like i had watched like movies before when i had seen stuff like this happen but i'm like since it's broad daylight like what can really happen plus it was next to a food truck and i'm like i'm sure the food truck man would see if something crazy happened if not i'll just like you know so i went to his car he's like oh excuse me miss you have put the quarters in the wrong in the wrong um meter i said what meter i put it in he told me some you have put it in my meter Oh, so you did not tell me until I put I paid off basically your 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 meter. I paid two hours for you, and you waited till I paid two hours to tell me, yo, this is highway robbery. Like you was really like robbing me right now. Like wow, like you trying to act like you nice, but you really is fake, and that's facts. Like wow, you just not told me. I'm like that's cool. So I went back and I put four more quarters in that joint. Now it's like. 310 so i'm like, okay well i got five minutes to walk to her place and it's exactly five minutes from here so i'm walking with my bag i had this bag yo hold on my single bag hold on. hold on oh oh my god oh my god oh my god wow wow okay well hold on y'all so i had this cute bag and everything i got some hospitals in my room y'all anyway oh my god yo what is going on i got some foundation on me hold on all right so i have this cute bag or whatever i'm walking with my cute bag i got this from marshall's y'all it was 19 dollars. it's so cute it's giving me real um really very much 2000s you know i was walking with it like this i was like this so i was walking my bag or whatever and i get a text from a lady that was like hey just let you know i'm running late mind you it's it's like five minutes to the appointment you was just not telling me you been you was being late you was gonna be late so why are you just now telling me so i'm like okay i'm like how late She's talking about some. I'll be there at four. That's forty-five minutes late, honey. How was you forty-five minutes late to your own shop? I understand if you just texted me and you was like ten minutes away or mm, seven, but you was forty-five minutes late and you were just not telling me. There's no way, like, there's no way you, like, you, like, you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's no way. So I'm like, you know what? Like, in my head, I'm like, I'm not about to play like a dummy. Like, I've been, I've been, be, I've been a sucker before. Like, I've been too nice to people before. Like, oh, oh, wait. Yeah, oh, wait. But, uh, I got to the point where I'm like, yo, like, this is my time. This is my money. You do not deserve my money if you was going to be late. So I said, you know what? I said, oh, never mind. I don't have time to wait. Oh, I felt so good. I'm like, yeah, go Gabby. Like, you was, you was really, you was really doing the dang thing because I usually, old Gabby would have been like, no, it's fun. I win. But I changed it and I, I spun, I script, I flipped the script and I said no. Like, I'm so proud. I said no, guys. Like, I said no. <laughs> wow. I'm, I really came a long way since, um, since, yeah. So I said no. So, and she was like, well, I'll give you $25 off. And I was like, yeah, dang, get yeah, away. I was like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, I'll be right in the car. But I'm like, I paid the meter. So I was like, do you have, I said, do you know anywhere with free parking around here? Because, like, I can't keep paying this meter. Plus, I don't have no more quarters left. She was like, so she didn't get no, I didn't get no response. So I'm like, waiting. I'm like, okay. She told me some. well, actually, um, you have to come another time. Excuse me? I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to do nothing. So I said, uh, uh, well, what? She's like, well, um, honestly, if I take you today, I'll be messing up my other client's appointment times. Think about that. Think about that. Hold on. Think about that. So, oh. I, I was giving Minion. I was giving Banana. I was giving this lip balm. Very much so. Ooh, what I drop? Anyway, child, so I'm like, okay, think about this. So you'd rather, you'd rather a customer who been waiting for you for over 30 something minutes leave after they waited and wasted their time. You'd rather them leave than have other people upset. So you literally rather cater to people who is in their bed right now, not even on the way to your appointment, than cater to someone who is literally right outside your door? Like, yo, this is some ghetto stuff. Like, I'm like, wow, like, wow, like, you really move funny. I'm like, wow, you really move funny, don't you, sis? You really move funny. I'm like, wow, like, 
wow like that's no you move so weird so i said i did not give her no response i put my car in drive well i unlocked my door i turned my car i put my car in drive and i i, I did another wheelie right back home you got me bent you got me bent yo i'm like wow like that just don't sit right with me these stylists yo don't come to Philly, bro. Like, yes, there's good stylists here, but you won't find the right ones. I know the right ones. I know the nails and the hair, but just don't, don't, don't you never book with a stylist in Philly because you will literally get, a, you will get, you will get, um, you will have to pay a deposit. You have to show up 30 minutes for your appointment. You have to, you literally have to do your own nails and hair. Like, they just, they just don't understand professionalism. I'm like, just because you're from Philly don't mean you got to be so rude. I'm like, poor baby. Like, you was just really ignorant. Like, that's that's ignorant. Like, you, you don't know how to run a business. Like, you don't do that to a client. You don't tell a client that you that she basically messed up your schedule. You messed up your own schedule, sis. You was the one that was 50 minutes late. Don't blame your client. Like, that's really messed up. But I'm so over it. Like, I'm like, poor baby, just so misguided. Like, you don't have no good guidance in your life if that's how you're going to treat a customer. But it's cool. Like, I'm local black child. I could have gotten you a little bit of clout. Not even clout. I could have, like, just, I always take my stylist. I could have tagged you, you know. you. I bet you your other your other client only got one follower and she won't tag you in not one of her pictures. Like, I like to tag stylists to get them to them. Just because, like, that's just what I do. But, like, you know what? Like, that's cool. Like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's cool. That's it, y'all. I just did it by like, oh. Oh my god, hold on. I just need my lashes in today. Like, it's fine. Like, I have, I sell my own lashes. Like, it's cool. Like, link below. But I'm just saying, like, lashes mess up. So that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. And I'll be back soon. With, I got a story time about. Wait, should I surprise y'all? No. I got a story time about how this boy jumped on my car because one of my number in high school. Well, it was Malik's car. He jumped on my car and I was in with my friend. And another story time. What other story, story time? I forget, but yeah, it's coming soon, and I'll see you guys probably this week. Nah, more than next week, because I'm kind of busy on this weekend. Probably next, probably like, mm, I'm not making no promises, so I'll see y'all soon. Hit me up on um Instagram, a local black child, and, and subscribe to me if you if you don't, you're a hater, and I've been told y'all this, like y'all already know this, and um, I'll see y'all soon. Bye! Okay, sure.